For three and a half years, this church top garden was the only place dead Ronksburgai could walk outdoors. For three years, I watched the game from here. It's not watch it, no, but still. Since 2018, his view has been the Detroit Tigers Stadium, yeah. Albanian TV, and his wife, Flora. In 2017, 16 years after he and his family arrived in the U.S., the Trump administration's Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency served dead with a deportation order. Because Flora was being treated for severe multiple sclerosis and could not travel, she was allowed to stay, but without the man who was taking care of her and their two sons. Do you want to deport me into live at nursing home or something, you know? Well, that's too hard. To live hurts very hard. So they took sanctuary in Detroit's Central Methodist United Church. After ICE declared dead a fugitive, he could no longer leave church property without fear of arrest. And for now, I'm just happy. After Dead's lawyer sued the U.S. government, the Biden administration reversed the Trump administration's policy of automatically deporting many immigrants. Dead and Flora are no longer considered fugitives, though they still don't have permanent residency. I really believe that this country is going to return to its roots, and, uh, and that is uh, and its self-image as, as a country of opportunity, as a shining city on the hill. George Mann is himself the child of Holocaust survivors whose family emigrated to the U.S. with only what they could fit in this trunk. This 156-year-old church, now under reconstruction, has a long history of rebellion. Reverend Martin Luther King once preached from that pulpit, and over the years, leaders here have fought against capital punishment and for workers' rights, and for the past several years, they've found a new cause, immigrants' rights. You see this man who works 16 hours a day to provide for his family. His wife has MS. She's in a wheelchair. You deport him. You take away all of their finances. You take away the main support for his wife and his two young sons at that time. So it was outrageous. Cool. In the coming weeks, the Ronksburg guys are moving out to an apartment and freedom for now. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Detroit.